Apocalypse Now was directed by Francis Ford Coppola and came out back in 1979 and is one of the films that really made Coppola stand out as an amazing director aside from his Godfather the, his Godfather movies, all three of them, and of other of his films. Apocalypse Now is an extremely unique war movie and an extremely unique movie in general. And this film revolves around the story of a captain who was sent on a mission in the Vietnam War with a group of men to assassinate a colonel who defines himself as a god amongst his tribe. I just want to start off by saying that there is no way that I would, in my view at least, consider you a movie buff if you haven't seen movies like Apocalypse Now. This film is one of the best, honestly, and I know I say that with a lot of classic movies, but I really do mean it, that this film is probably one of the best you will ever see. This is not only a great war movie, this is a great movie in general. Apocalypse Now is, is such a dark and powerfully written story. And this film is filled with so many unbelievable performances and amazing effects. This film actually makes you feel like you're journeying, you're journeying with these men in the Vietnam War. And it absolutely feels dangerous and tragic and amazing. The direction that Coppola delivers throughout the entire runtime of this film delivers such a suspenseful and drama feel to the experience. And the thrilling sequences that are mashed into this film look absolutely realistic. And I'd say way too realistic. This movie is extremely dark, even for a 70s movie. And, th and those are some of the things that make Apocalypse Now stand out as such a great war film and such a great film in general. And why it stands out as a masterpiece and a classic to this very day. What I love to see out of a war movie is for it to have edge of your seat moments. Apocalypse Now is filled with edge of your seat moments. There are almost, there's almost not a single sequence in this movie where you feel like you're not in the edge of your seat. There's almost, almost every single sequence in this movie, you're literally in the edge of your seat. You're intrigued on what's going on in the film you care for these soldiers you care for these men who are on this mission and the sh and the destruction and chaos they have to go through in this war and even though these men were killed off one by one in this film they're still so memorable you can really relate with these characters because they're just so lovable and most of that has to do with narrating an excellent character setup because these soldiers don't just don't really feel like like random characters. They actually feel like soldiers. These when, once you look at once I look at once I watch Apocalypse Now and I see these characters, they feel like actual soldiers. They don't just feel like characters. They feel like actual men who are on a mission in the Vietnam War and they're going through terrible terrible crap. And I absolutely love that. Martin Sheen absolutely carries this entire film. He plays such an amazing main character. And his character, Captain Willard, just has a lot of passion in trying to complete this mission with his men. And you can tell that while he's with his men, he just, he gets stuff done. He's a great and active captain to his men. And that's really what made him stand out in this film. Great character. And obviously, I have to talk about Marlon Brando. He's absolutely phenomenal in this film. He's technically phenomenal in every film that he's in. Brando plays such a very interesting and yet creepy individual. Colonel Walter has an important viewing of the world and what he sees out of this world, which are the horrors. And even though he wasn't in much of the movie, his amount of screen time was worthy. Absolutely amazing. Perfect. I honestly like that his Brando's character wasn't in throughout the entire runtime of the film. And showed up near like the last act, like the ending of the movie. Because it gave us time to know a lot more about this man. 
And I found it utterly fascinating. Easily some of the best parts you will ever see in Apocalypse Now. Or some of the best things you'll ever see in cinema. One thing that I absolutely love about Apocalypse Now is that it's somewhat different than other war movies. And I know I've said this about some other war movies like Full Metal Jacket, but Apocalypse Now is an extremely unique film. It really is. And I think the elements that are delivered in this film makes this film different compared to other war movies. Even the way the story is told and the direction of this film. And because this film is extremely unique, it makes this experience better by every viewing. Apocalypse Now is a movie that gets better by every watch. Every time I watch this movie, this movie gets better by every viewing. It really does. But compared to other war movies, Apocalypse Now is a revolutionary war film. And a revolutionary film in general. Which makes it stand out as one of the best of all time, without a doubt. Some of, some of my favorite elements of this film and favorite scenes of Apocalypse Now are... Is, a cer is the certain scene where the men are on board of their boat. And they're heading through the tribe of Vietnamese people. Who are the children of the colonel. I remember first watching that movie. I remember the first time watching this movie. I absolutely felt suspense hitting in that scene. Like seriously, the music that started to occur very slowly and started to rise and, and even fade away. The tension that's brought into that scene is really genius. And it turns out that they didn't really do anything to the men. But I remember I remember first watching that scene. It kind of scared me because I was like legit I was legit like what's going to happen to these men? Are they going to die trying to get to the colonel? Or are they going to let these men pass? It was legit honestly. And it was because the of the entire experience throughout this movie. I was absolutely intrigued into everything in this movie. The story, the direction, the characters, the action and drama and suspense sequences and thrilling sequences. Everything in, Ap in Apocalypse Now is absolutely done perfectly. And this movie looks absolutely magnificent. The direction and the setting and the sequences are absolutely beautiful. They look so real in this movie and they feel real and those are some of the reasons that make you feel like you're actually in this f guys though i really don't have to say more i don't have to say any more about apocalypse now this film is amazing this film is a classic it's a masterpiece and it's definitely one of the best this will def this is definitely would this would I would put this on my top 30 movies of all time list definitely this movie is that good it's really great if you haven't seen it and if you're a movie buff what are you doing because by now you should have seen movies like this Apocalypse Now is a film that has stood the test of time and it's known as one of the best war movies ever and one of the greatest in general and this is definitely one of Coppola's films that helped him shine as a director. Apocalypse Now absolutely gets an A+. So guys, thank you so much for watching this review. Look forward to my next review that I will be doing hopefully tomorrow. I want to review The Dark The Dark Knight Rises. This is going to be my last review for The Dark Knight Trilogy. So I want to give you my personal thoughts on it since it's my last review for the Dark Knight Trilogy. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this review. You guys are the best. I love every single one of you. Look forward to more reviews that will be coming very soon. And as always, I am MarioFan520 and I will see you next time. Peace out.